What's good? What's good? What's good, guys? Uh, I want to show you something really quick. Something that Apple released, uh, I think, on June 8th, which was Safari 5. But more importantly, I want to show you that Safari 5 now has extensions similar to Firefox. And even more importantly, I'm going to show you one of my favorite extensions on Safari 5 so far. So first things first, to enable extensions on your Safari 5, you're going to go up to the Develop menu and select Enable Extensions. Now, if you don't have the Develop menu in your menu bar at the moment, you can just go ahead and hit Command, comma, and go to Advance and check off Show Develop menu in menu bar. Once you have that selected, you will see a tab in your preferences for Safari called Extensions. Here is where you can download and install third-party extensions to Safari and use them whenever you want. At the moment, I only have one installed and from all the other ones I've tried, this has to be my favorite one. And that's because I use Tweety a lot, as you can see in my dock, it's launched and it's in my menu bar as well. And this extension allows me to simply click on an icon right here in my menu bar and it will automatically make a tweet for me saying the title of the web page I'm currently on and linking you guys to it at the same time. Now this saves a lot of time because when I want to link something to you guys, I have to myself write out what it is and then copy and paste the link into my tweet. And sometimes I even have to go to tinyurl or bit.ly to shorten the URL because it's too long. As you all know, Twitter only allows 140 characters in each tweet. So great time saver and a great extension for Safari 5. Now where can you get even more extensions for Safari 5? There's a blog on Tumblr called safariextensions.tumblr.com. It's called safariextensions.tumblr.com where you can visit them and you will see new posts almost every day talking about different extensions that developers are releasing onto the market. This is a Safari extensions web page where you can select a post and then download it from there. I'm going to show you an extension called Invisible Hand which shows you if the product you are browsing currently on can be bought for a lower price elsewhere and also gives you a link directly to the product page at the competing retailer. What you're going to do is you're going to click on the link or the titles link and go to the developers web page and then download the extension right there. Once it's downloaded, go to your downloads folder and double click on the extension that was downloaded. Click install and it should automatically appear in your extensions tab in your preferences window. And from here you can modify its settings, but in this case, Invisible Hand has no settings. Also with extensions, you are able to update them automatically by just selecting this option. So check it out guys, it should be very handy in the near future for all of you Safari users. Thanks a lot for watching, I'll see every single one of you next time right here on Macboy Productions.